I think she would do anything for her children. She would do anything. She's not necessarily correct about what she's doing, and she thinks she knows what's best for them, but it comes from a place of complete love, and in, it's unconditional. That's great. Um, I think she also has a real genuine philanthropic streak. A little bit's partly narcissistic, because she likes to see, be viewed a certain way in the world. But um, I, I, I've got to say, there's something that Victoria does uh, that hasn't aired yet. We just shot it. It was the last episode we shot. I would do for my daughter in a heartbeat. I would do for my daughter in a heartbeat. So, but a lot of people say it's horrifying, but I would do it. Her weakness is her vanity. Her weakness is uh, her narcissism. I think that her weakness is that she can't see, sometimes see what other people's needs are beyond hers. Hers come first. Um, and her need for security is so strong, you know, because when she was young, horrible things happened to her that damaged her. So she does everything she can to hold on to what she has. But it makes sense now when you think about it, you, when, how she could betray David Clark the way she did. Well, that's what happened to her. Well, it, yeah, it's interesting. I mean, you're going to see them join forces, but they hate each other. And actually what's happening now is that is the writers are resetting the show um, to get back to the antagonism that we have toward each other because audiences miss that. Um, and because it's really a central driving force of the show. So uh, they're going to try to destroy each other much more actively. She very, Victoria's very cagey. She knows how to wait and choose her moments. And then when she strikes out, uh, and she will now from here on to the season, she does it very cleverly and very maliciously. Yeah.